going on guys bastard up moffat here coming at you with a uh, extra special little video for this week in this week's video um i'm going to highlight a new rig that i started using saw this rig by mike iconelli doesn't really have a co uh, name for it so i'm just going to call it the ike rig uh, he's the only one that i've really seen do it and do it this way so we're going to call it the ike rig going to start out with showing you guys what i was using um almost all this fish except for one i caught on this rig this is the first time I ever tried it and it produced, produced a lot of fish. So first off, let's go and say with the bait, uh, we gotta go with these french fry like worms, like the uh, zoom centipede, you got him a green pumpkin there. So you take your little french fry type worm, it's gotta have a flat back on it like this. Take that. And now the hook that I use for these, this is a little straight skank hook. Uh, it's a robo worm and I, uh, Thread this right up through. <coughs> Thread this right up through just like that. Put that onto the little hook keeper part. Pull him up. Put that through the exposed part. Hook back through. That's the rig for it. And now that's not done yet. Just to make the end flat a little bit cut off just the tip of it a tiny tiny bit not not much at all just a tiny bit and what makes this rig stand out most of you're going to be looking at this right now and being like oh that's just a texas rig it's not finished yet um then i take one of these nail weights this is a little vmc nail weight right there i take that and honestly this one is a 3 16th ounce that's a little bit bigger than what i want i want it to fall just a little slower so break that guy right in half like that and then I shove the butt end of it, shove that right in the butt end. And now she's all rigged up, ready to go. And what this does, when this thing falls in the water and slides in there real nicely, it falls and it stands straight up just like this. It'll stand straight up and especially for bed fishing or uh, getting a lot of these fish that are roaming around right now i know a lot of people have trouble getting the fish that are roaming to bite so this is something that i've found lately for sure has really worked to get those fish that didn't really want to hit most of your other lures like your spinner baits your jigs normal texas rig anything like that if they won't hit that throw this at them and i guarantee you you can get them to react to it it's got a nice slow fall and it stands straight up there just like that uh, it's sort of like a Nico, a little bit different, but uh, this thing kills. And probably going to be one of my new rigs that I start throwing a lot out there. But uh, in this video, sadly I had to throw it on this favorite Absolute Series rod. This one is a 6.6 uh, six fast action, medium heavy. I like that kind of rod for throwing this kind of bait because it's real sensitive down there. But this one is not the one that I would typically use. Uh, my one that I would typically use is my Enigma and I busted that at the creek as you guys saw probably in one of my other videos but uh, haven't replaced this yet just haven't had the money to do it yet but uh, I'm gonna replace that with a nice uh, probably about seven foot medium heavy Enigma um, like I said only use this one because it's the only other spinning rod I have for right now but uh, Either way, guys, hope you enjoy the video, and let's get out of here.
Got one, guys. Also, new little rig I wanted to try. Decent little guy. Hooked him right in the top of the mouth. Look at that one, guys. Decent one. Can't complain about him one bit. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Got him, guys. Get that hook out of him. Another decent little one, not a big one. Little chunker. So let him go. There's one. He wanted that thing. He freaking ate it. Got it in the back of his tongue there. There we go. Got him off. Look at that little guy. Just let him go. There it goes. Right back down. Alright guys, so for the next part here, my chest camera dies, so the footage is a little eh for this one. But uh, and I pick up the jig just for a minute here, and stuff goes a little crazy. Either way, keep watching, just because this is where the big fish come. And then eventually I get enough battery um, charged up in my chest cam so that I can start using it again for the end period. Musky, oh my goodness, musky. Oh man, musky. Please don't lose this. Please don't lose this. This is my first big muskie. I really... No! No, he got all f No, come on. Broke my line, lost my jig and all.
good one. That's a good one guys. That's a big old girl. That's a good one. Woo baby, look at that big old girl. She ate it. She ate that bad boy. Look at her. Mm-hmm. That's a nice one guys. That is a nice one. Check him out. He's got a little cut on his tail there. Something got at him. Let's let this big girl go, guys. There she goes. Another decent one, guys. Pulled up on this point. All the winds rush around on it. There's a lot of rocks on this point. Kind of just figured I'd pull up in here and get one. And look at that, we did. Fat little chunker. Let him go. Not a big one, but it's another one. Slow day like today, it's just fun catching these guys. Another big one guys off the spinnerbait. 
Let's let him go. guys that's going to conclude it for this video for you um as always baits and everything will be linked in the description down below so check that out if you want to um i'll link all this stuff i'll even link ike's video on how he did to rig this if you just want to check out um his personal preference for it only other fish we caught in this video we got on a spinner bait and that was on the big hog collar spinner bait as always, um, obviously it wasn't the white one that I have tied on right here right now. Uh, got that one on the chartreuse color. I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. I think they really bite this spinnerbait because of the thump. It's got the light wire, big thump from it, and it falls a lot faster than all the others. And as it's falling, the blades are spinning like crazy. It doesn't take much to get these blades to spin. So a lot of times I think they're reacting to that fall a little bit sometimes because I get some right after it's thrown in there almost and i also get a lot because this is a big heavy spinnerbait and i'm dragging it through the rocks i mean dragging it through the rocks i'm hitting rocks on the bottom i'm pulling it through them sometimes i get stuck here and there pays to have a really good lure retriever for that but uh i do that a lot and this is a 7.3 medium heavy fast action and as i said in my last video i like this 6.4 to 1 just because this time of year, I wanna slow roll these spinner baits. I'm not trying to work them fast, I'm trying to be slow with them. So that's why I like that one. But uh, either way guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash that like and subscribe button cause trying to make this as a thing. Uh, I'm gonna come out here and do these tip videos for you guys all the time and uh, show you guys how to be more successful on the water and catch some more fish. Everybody always asks me how I do as good as I do on Marburg. Most people call it the Dead Sea. Uh, for me, I go nuts when I hear that because it's such a good productive fishery once you fish it, figure it out. You can catch some nice, nice bass. I mean, for Pennsylvania, five, six pounders is usually around the tops. You, you don't get much bigger than that in PA. Not to say that there's not sevens, eights, nines, maybe even a 10 out there, but the typical average fish that we catch on this lake is about two to three pounds. Um, but it is such a good fishery. It's got a lot of fives, a lot of sixes, a lot of fours. And lately, it's been pretty easy to go out there for me and catch at least a four or five pounder almost every trip I've been out there lately. So hopefully you guys can uh, learn from this and help you catch some more big girls out in the water. But we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.